Joseph, you welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. 50 Cent finally gets revenge on P. Diddy and the mother of his child, Daphne Joy. Why is he so upset with those two individuals? Well, recent court records talking about the type of illegal activity that was going on concerning Diddy's case highlighted that Diddy had 304 workers, S-E-X workers, one of those being Daphne Joy. This explains why he's had a problem with Diddy for a long, long time. Imagine the mother of your child decides to date some man who you despise. And on top of that, you find out that she's his SEX worker. This can't be the first time that 50 Cent has found out about this. Now, we know there's nothing worse than the mother of your children being an SEX worker. But if there is anything worse, that might be being 50 Cent's enemy. He's relentless. There's almost no line that he's not willing to cross. And in this situation, he's proven just that. The recent post that I saw concerning this is affecting real people in real lives, such as 50 Cent's child and his custody case. This post read, 50 Cent is going for sole custody of his son with Daphne Joy after she was named in Didi lawsuit. You got to think about that. That's a play on the situation for sure, which would probably result in him getting custody. It's difficult for men to get full custody. People usually joke about how hard it is. They'll joke and say things like, well, unless if the mother of your child is on drugs and just being extremely negligent towards the children, then you're probably not going to get full custody unless she's like breaking the law or anything like that. And in this case, these documents are allegedly claiming that she is, in fact, has been breaking the law. What do you guys think of this? Now, here's what's unfortunate about this situation. Obviously, 50 Cent is petty. And it's hard to not agree with people who say this is not about the child. This is about him getting revenge and using the child to do that. Or you could say he's always wanted to be in his child's life. But, you know, we already know he's got problems with his other son who wants absolutely nothing to do with him. They've had problems for a while. But 50's relentless, man. He's been posting a lot of stuff. For example, he posted this photo he took from Fox News that read, Mr. Combs had hidden cameras in every room of his home. These were during those parties that he would have. Goes on to say it has recordings of several celebrities, artists, music label executives, athletes engaging in illegal activity. These individuals were recorded without their knowledge and consent. Mr. Combs possesses uh, compromising footage of every person who has attended his freak off parties and his house parties. Think about that. Every person, every person. So if you're at this house party, you're shaking in your boots because you're wondering if there's some hard drive somewhere with all this compromising footage of you parting it up, thinking you're not being seen, doing whatever illegal activities, and you're hoping that this information never comes to light. So this is what 50 Cent had to say, which was a caption um, that went along with his post. He says, shaking my head, this is going to be so good. He goes on to say, what you want to bet, I'm going to get these tapes. I'll pay top dollar for them. Sad eye emoji, he says, you been over there? Shoulder shrug, I don't go to puffy parties. Here's another post he made of like a mock-up cover art of what a docu-series on surviving Diddy would look like. It says, Diddy do it. Original docu-series coming soon. And he has that there and he captioned it. This is going to break records when this drops. Greenlight gang you know the vibes. So now this is when you see just how much of a ruthless businessman 50 Cent is. While posting all that stuff about Diddy, he's adding in promotions for his show like Power. Like this post that says Power spinoff Raising Canaan renewed for season five. And he's got a bunch of other promotions that he's sharing as, as well. I don't know. It's, it works. Is it right? You know? Um... I think that's up for debate because they're beefing at the end of the day and it seems like 
if you have a problem with 50 Cent and you're in the situation that Diddy's in in the spotlight, that's just the perfect opportunity, it seems like, for 50 Cent to kill two birds with one stone. Number one, clown on you in front of everybody, get revenge, and number two, to promote his shows. Now, what can we learn about Hollywood? I think there's a lot of dark, evil things that happen in Hollywood. I think I would hate to be a child of two parents who are going through something like this. You know, you, you often may look at people who are famous or may look at their kids and think that their life is simple. Most people never truly understand what it means to be associated with high profile um, artists like this when they're going through a very, very bad time. And guys, we know that Daphne Joy was not the only woman who was named as an SEX worker. We also had Young Miami. Uh, I have a whole separate video on that. And she was exposed herself. All this I don't find very surprising at the end of the day. Here's my question to you. Do you think that they should take that woman's kids away? Here's what the comments had to say about it. First comment here reads, I'm sorry if I were him, I would do the same thing. So she's like, I want my kid. Here's another comment that says, this is a miserable man. S-E-X worker doesn't mean bad mom. The heck? Wow. S-E-X worker, this chick says, doesn't mean bad mom. What world are we in? And this is not me saying that you don't have the right to go out here and you, you, you do whatever you want, but you cannot escape the consequences of being an SEX worker and trying to be a mom. There are consequences to that, which she's going through right now. Here's another comment that says, one thing about 50, he is not going to play with you. Here's another comment from another woman that says, good for him. He should, because if the shoe was on the other foot, y'all would be saying she did the right thing. So what's the difference in this case? The difference is she's a woman. Here's another comment that says, the devil moves fast, but 50 moves faster. Guys, I'm curious to know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Appreciate you. See you next time. Come on. Peace.